What's up, guys? West Coast Picks here, and today I have Grinder Switch by Type Me. This is a Bufo by a Oops, sorry. <laughs> this is a Bufo by Avis, and uh, these Avis Bufos are actually pretty good locks to begin with. So I'm expecting this one to be a decent, uh, decent pick here. That, coupled with uh, not having picked a lock for over a week, it should be a lot of fun. We have 5-pin and a fairly decent bidding. Focus, there we go. So, uh, without further babbling, let's get this thing in a vise and see if I can get into it. Alright. So, I'm going to use my bike spoke. It's just a, a bike spoke bent over and hammered flat, or you can file it flat. And it works good for these Yale type keyways uh, and smaller paracentric type keyways. I'll make sure this lock still works. And it works good. And I'm going to focus in on the lock itself because I noticed my video has been jumping around to focus lately. So we'll focus in. Hopefully that helps. All right. Top of the keyway. And just use it 15 thousandths, kind of a medium short. And let's see what I can do. All right. I just touched five and it went into a bit of a false set. Three. One. A couple clicks out of one. And it feels like I lost a bit of my false set there. Not sure where it went. Let's see if I can find out. Oh, maybe still more on one here. Got a bit of it back. We got a three, two, all right, five, and then a decent full set again. So I must have dropped five. All right, felt counter on three. Hmm. Three. See if I can set them here. No, hmm. I set it up pretty high and it wouldn't wouldn't go, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's try again. Alright, I believe I set it, but obviously something's dropped. Oh, I just got my false set back. Um, very deep false set. So I'm looking for a deep spool or a T-pin or something like that. Hmm. Now it's three again. But uh, it didn't set last time. Let me grab something a little deeper here. Uh... This guy, he's a little deeper.
See if I can get them this time. Oh, wow. Um, not sure what's up with this, but three. Feels like a spool. Feels like a nice deep spool. Uh, but when you get up to the top, it doesn't want to set. So maybe, maybe really, really deep counter milling. Um, yeah. Only thing I can think of is uh, trying to manually set it. Hmm. Maybe I'm in like a some overset trap or something. So, yeah, again, I got it right back. Oh, there we go. Jeez, that was a fight. Um, <laughs> normally, I don't fight that much, but it is a Abus Bufo, and it is a Typeny, and Typeny is uh, a very good lock maker, and Abus Bufos are very good locks. So, I'll take it. It's a little bit longer, actually quite a bit longer than I normally go, but that's what happens when you're rusty. Um... I'm going to lock it up because I do have a key. Let's see if I can open this thing without too much hassle. It's got a decent clip, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right. Key. Key and shim. There we go. All right, five has got a uh, horrible notching in the core there. <laughs> that looks pretty evil. Bunch of serrated, of standard. Well, there's our overset trap. Don't know if I actually fell into him or not, but uh, it is a very nice overset trap. Nice and sharp on the top. That might have been what happened, and I actually might have dropped out of it when I reset the uh, the lock back to back to the top. We have everything in here. There is counter milling, massive counter milling on six or uh, five. Sorry, let me focus in on this so we can see just what's going on. So five. Um, being massively countermilled and notched. So a lot of work done to this lock. Uh, no wonder it took me a while to get into it. Threading on four, uh, very, very massive countermilling on three, and threading on one and two. So a lot of work done by Type Me on this lock. Uh, let's get the shim out and see what's in this bad boy. I'm trying to keep my focus uh, manually focusing everything here just to uh, make it better normally the camera's not too bad um, but with the uh, lighting I have here in my living room the camera doesn't like low light and it has trouble focusing so I'll just manual focus and it won't be a problem uh, it's a nice serrated spool that's the one that's very deep, too. That's the one on three that I had to uh, set to open it. And hopefully I dropped uh, 
that overset trap while I was doing it. Cause that's while well, that and the massive counter milling, the only things I could think of that would stop me. <laughs> All right, let's dump these springs out really quick. Oh, they all look the same, actually. Yeah, they are. So I don't have to worry too much about that. So, this is what Type Knee... Uh, actually, take a look here. I don't think he's done anything to the top, because it takes quite a bit of work to get in here. You'd have to uh, take those caps out and put them back in after and make it look like you didn't. <laughs> so... Let's focus in, see what type we put in. Grinder switch. We have uh, a couple serrateds on the bottom in one and two. We have a standard on three. We have a overset trap, deep, deep spool, very sharp at the top on four. We have a standard on five. Up in the driver position, we have a serrated spool in one, serrated in two, another serrated spool on three. Right, that's the culprit right there that was bunging us up. We have a T-pin on four. That's to go with our uh, overset trap to make it very, very easy to overset this lock. And a very nice sharp spool on five, which will catch our uh, slotting on chamber five. So that's what Type Knee put in grinder switch. Thanks for watching, everyone. And... Uh, Thank you, Type Me, for pinning up this lock and sending it out to the community. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos. <laughs> uh, I just I don't have a lot of time, and I'm doing a lot of things around the house. and Work's busy and everything, but hey, that's just the way it is. Um, a lot of people understand. Um, for those of you wondering, I spoke to um, Pick Me 1977 the other day, and he's fine. Uh, he, he's okay. He's just... Just like me, he's very, very busy. He just doesn't have time for videos. Totally understandable, but it's good to know that he's uh, he's okay. So <laughs> you don't have to worry about him. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.